Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Bond. Welcome back to the channel. So, about a month ago or so, I bought one of my Grail watches, Tudor Black Bay 58. And last week, I released a video talking about my purchasing experience of that watch and the story behind the purchase. A lot of you seem to like that video. If you haven't watched the video, I will link it in the description below. You can also find it on the channel. And first of all, I gotta thank you for all the wonderful wishes, for all the congratulations that I got on that video. It does feel really good, I'm not gonna lie. But also, I got a lot of comments and a lot of private messages and emails uh, from you guys that are also interested in purchasing this watch. Seems like it's a very popular watch in the watch community right now for very good reasons, because it is a good watch. So in today's video, I decided to do a quick unboxing, just kind of show you what the watch comes with, uh, what the box looks like, and what you can expect uh, when and if you decide to buy one of these watches. So let's get started. This is the watch box, obviously. It has this outer white sleeve. Take that off and you can see the Tudor logo. It's nicely embossed, feels pretty good. Like you can touch it and you can feel uh, with your finger how it's embossed. It's kind of a cool touch, I guess. It's kind of weird doing this unboxing because usually when I do an unboxing, I also give my initial impressions. However, with this watch, I already had my initial impressions. I love the watch, of course. And inside is the actual Tudor box with the Tudor shield on it. And uh, one cool touch on the slip, there's also a Tudor logo here. It's kind of a cool touch. I think Tudor has better packaging than Rolex. Uh, the Rolex box is kind of outdated. It has uh, that plastic feel and it doesn't feel very luxurious. It doesn't feel like you're spending a lot of money on the watch. Where Tudor is actually cheaper, but in my opinion has better packaging. So this lid of the actual watch box has this leather material. It's actually soft, so you can see it kind of bends. Haven't seen that before, so that's kind of cool. And the bottom portion of this box is wooden. So that's actual wood. And the bottom, so some Tudor writing and uh, it's kind of a nice suede type of material. Now let's open the box. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the watch. So again, inside this nice suede material, Tudor written on the top. And that's what it looks like inside. So there are two compartments. First one is up here. You pull it out like so with this little uh, flap, I guess. And here are the spare links and the tag of the watch. So first the spare links, I took two of them to size it for my seven and a half inch wrist. That should give you an idea of uh, the length of the bracelet in case you have a larger or a smaller wrist. So I had to take out two of those. And then you take out the watch out of the box, comes on this cushion, feels very nice to the touch, something that you would already expect. Uh, yeah, and here's the watch, I love it. It's, uh, every time I look at it, I can't believe that I own it because I've been lusting over this watch for so long. Of course, I'll do a full review and tell you all the things that I love and some things that I don't really like about the watch. So that's all to come in the future. Uh, for now, I guess I'll just give you a quick taste. Here's what the bezel action sounds like. It's just so smooth and it flows so well. One thing that surprised me about the bezel is actually a 60 click unidirectional bezel. It's not 120 click, something that I didn't know about this watch. Kind of interesting. And again, I'll share my full thoughts about the watch in the future. Uh, I already scuffed mine up a little bit. I've had it for about a month, so you can see some scuffs on the bracelet. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. You can definitely see it on the clasp. If the light catches it, there you go. You can see some scuffs there. So moving on, put the watch aside. Also under the cushion, we have three different things. I'll show you two out of the three. So uh, the one that I'm not gonna show you is the uh, the warranty card. The reason why I'm not showing it is because it has a lot of my personal information, plus it has the serial number of the watch, so not something that I wanna flash on the screen. Uh, but the other two things I can show you. So first one here is the manual. 
uh, something interesting about mine is that it's all in French because I did buy this watch in France. So the manual is all French. I thought that was kind of unique. And the second thing is the guarantee booklet. So uh, this one here just shows you all the different places where you can service your watch. So those are the things that come with Tudor Black Bay 58 and pretty much any Tudor Black Bay. All right guys, so that was the unboxing experience of Tudor Black Bay 58. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, that helps out a lot. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what type of questions you would want me to answer about this watch when I do the full review in about a month or so. By the way, today on my wrist, I'm wearing Hamilton Khaki Automatic. I borrowed this watch from a friend of mine for a review. That review should be coming next week or the week after that. Also, in the description of this video, there's a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. Uh, thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.